In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate how to um, prepare some questions for a Moodle quiz. So when you're working with Moodle and you want to get to work on a quiz, what you can do is go to the question bank. And under the question bank, the question bank is down here in the bottom of the uh, options at the wheel up in the top right hand corner. So under more, you'll see there's an option down the bottom of the page for questions, so the question bank and questions. So when I go into my questions, because this site is a new blank site or new blank course, there are no questions questions currently um, uploaded. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import questions so from, from a GIFT file. So earlier on, I showed how to use, in another clip, how to use a GIFT file to create some questions, and then the file was saved in GIFT format. So now I'm going to use that, uh, I'm going to import questions from that GIFT file. So under import, uh, the, the choices that open up is the file format. So there are many formats that uh, questions can be prepared in. The one that I chose earlier with the, the Excel uh, spreadsheet as the, um, the source of the questions, uh, I, I prepared a GIFT file. So now I'm going to import that GIFT file from my um, desktop. So I can choose my file, so I'm going to upload it, and it's going to be uploaded from my desktop in that uh, folder. Okay, so here I have the, the original GIFT file spreadsheet that I used to create the questions, and then when I um, made the GIFT file, this was, was, was the resulting file. So you see here it's a file with a .gift extension. But the most important thing is it's and under the type column it says gift gft so that's the file i'm going to choose and what happens then i'm going to upload the file and during the upload process um once the file has been chosen i then hit import and what happens next is all going well it tells me that the questions have been imported and it shows me kind of a preview of the questions Okay, it doesn't allow me to test the questions, it just gives me a look at them. So the most important thing here is that I see that each question looks intact. Okay, it has the, it has the, the full questions there. So that means I can continue. And the questions have been imported. So if I now look in my question bank, here I have my five questions. So that's how to import questions from a GIFT file onto the Moodle um, cloud site, your Moodle cloud site. So, what I have in my case here, what I've done is I've given the question a name. If you remember back in the spreadsheet, each question got a name, and Moodle also then records the date it was recorded, that it was uploaded on, and the date it was last modified. If I want to um, look at one of the questions in detail, I can go in here, and when I hit the cog, that means I can edit the question if I wish. Okay, so this is how the question looks in Moodle. So you have the question name, followed by the question text. And then I have my um, answers. Okay, so the first question, the answer is, uh, the choice is 1997. That's one of the incorrect answers. Second choice is 1992, 1995. And that's, that's the correct answer in this case. So one of the important things is that back in the spreadsheet, the questions um, were following a certain order. But, uh, or the answers rather were following a certain order. But when they were imported into Moodle, the um, answers are jumbled up, so the, there's no problem with that, in that regard. Okay, so if I wanted to edit the question, I could have done so, and at the end I could have saved the changes just like I'm doing now. So that gives me a chance to edit one or more of the questions. The other thing I can do, if I'm unsure again as to how things might be working, is I can um, go in here and preview the question. Okay, so the plus sign there allows me to preview the question. And preview the question means I can test it before I um, included in any quiz that I might write. Okay, so here's the first question. What year did Westmead win their first All-Ireland uh, minor football title? I'm going to choose 1995, which is the correct answer. And when I submit it and finish, Moodle will hopefully tell me it's correct. Okay, so I can do the same thing for any of the remaining questions if I wish. Close the preview. Go down here to the fourth question, and again I can preview it. And... The question is, what club has won the most Westmead senior football titles since the year 2000? And again, I think it's Gary Castle. So, but I'll choose Athlone. 
So I'll submit and finish. Moodle will mark it wrong. And in this case, Moodle tells me the correct answer is Gary Castle. So that's the feedback that you get when the quiz is attempted. So again, I'll close the preview and go back to the, the quiz page. Um, what I can do next is I can go back out to the main course page, having set up or having imported my questions. So I can then, in a few minutes time, uh, in another clip, I'll go down to one of the topics and I'll add a quiz. So I'll be going, I'll be going down here to add an activity or resource and I'll be choosing to add a quiz and that'll then finalize the, the process. So that's the end of this clip on importing questions from a GIFT file onto a Moodle course site.